God doesn't go anywhere. God doesn't become something else. He remains the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end of all things. God is still holy. God is still pure. God is still powerful. God is still speaking. God is still changing lives. God is still transforming people. God is still quickening our mortal bodies. And God is still speaking the truth. I don't care what anybody tells you. It is the truth that will set you free. Nothing else can bring you freedom in your spirit. Except the truth of God's word. And God is still speaking today. Oh, I don't think you hear what I'm saying. For every word you spoke while you were alive, you will give account. The Bible says for every idle word you speak, you shall give account on the day of judgment. It doesn't matter who likes you or who doesn't like you. It doesn't matter if your father was rich or your old father was poor. It doesn't matter if you come from an affluent family or you come from abject poverty. It doesn't come. It matter whether you come from Zimbabwe or you come from Namibia or you come from Nigeria or you come from the Congo. Your demographics do not matter. It doesn't matter whether you're six feet tall or four feet tall. It doesn't matter whether you drive a Mercedes or a Toyota Camry. It doesn't matter whether you live in the Beverly Hills Avenues or you live in the abject, poorly, poorly furnished place in the slums. It doesn't matter where you live. On the last day, you will give account. For every day you're supposed to be good, but you were bad, you will give account. For everything you're supposed to do that you did not do, you will give account. For every day that you caused a brother to fall or a sister to fall, you will give account for every day that you spoke the wrong thing and did the wrong thing and caught the wrong thing, you will give account. On that day, there will be nobody to defend you, there will be no advocate for you. Jesus will not be advocating on that day. Because every advocacy that Jesus will do, huh, he's doing it now when you are here. Huh, and you need to take advantage of it. Huh. God said on that day, there will be judgment and your works huh, will be tested in the fire. Huh, and if your works you burn, you will burn. I didn't come here to caress your ego. I didn't come here to tease you. I didn't, I didn't come here to flatter you. I, I didn't come here with the enticing words of men's wisdom. I, I, I've come uh, with a demonstration of spirit and of power. I've come with a word of life. I've come to quicken your mortal bodies. I, I've come to bring conviction to your heart. I, I've come to speak to your spirit man. I, I've come to wake up the dormant giant uh, on the inside of you. I've come uh, to strengthen your faith. I've come uh, to bring you out of obscurity into a marvelous light. I've come to turn you around from going to hell and unto heaven. I come to bring you the virtues of God, the mandate of God. I've not come here with suiting doctrine. I've come here with sound doctrine. And it's time you better endure the sound doctrine of God. is high time. Christians started getting back from the Mary Clay. I've come to set your feet upon solid rock I've come uh, to enlighten the highs of your understanding uh, I've come to deliver the seven spirits of God uh, into your spirit man I've come uh, with an anointing to change anointing to convict uh, anointing to transform anointing to lift uh, anointing to turn around you didn't hear what I'm saying uh, I've come with an anointing that sets a fire on the inside of you and you say to yourself uh, ah from today uh, I will serve the Lord with all my spirit uh, I've come to snatch you from hell. I've come to snatch you from the hand of the devil. I've come to snatch you out of yourself into the presence of God. I've come to grow you into the fullness of the stature of Christ. I've come to give you the words of life. 